Here's a couple of feathers of blue jay. And um, you might be interested to know how long it takes a feather to actually grow from uh, when it's very small and microscopic to full sized. And, you know, I can tell you in general it takes about a month. Um, but we can actually know very specifically by counting something called a growth bars. Now, this is the top of the blue jay feather, and it's, um, you know, got this blue coloration. Uh, it's a structural color, and so it's refracting light uh, so that it appears blue. Um, I really can't show you the growth bars very well uh, due to the blue color, but I'm going to turn one of these feathers over, and um, I'm pointing out with my pencil a line. It goes straight across like so. There's a line there. Uh, I see another line right up there. Do you, So it's kind of hard, and it's actually pretty hard to see um, with the naked eye, um, but... There are individual, there's a sort of a stripe, another stripe, a stripe, a stripe, a stripe, a stripe, a stripe, and so on. Um, every one of these stripes or bars uh, are growth bars. And so the feather actually grew from here to there in one day, one 24 hour period. Uh, so if you start at the calamus down here and you count all the growth bars, there's going to be approximately 30 bars um, from the base of the feather to its tip. And if you count them, you know precisely how many days it took to grow this feather. So while I have the blue uh, feathers of a blue jay uh, before us, I might as well talk to you about structural pigment or structural color. Um, and so, as I mentioned, these are appearing to be blue feathers, uh, but that blue color is due to refraction of light. So light is coming up from my desk lamp right here, and, um, and it is striking the structure of the feather, the microscopic structure, inside the uh, material that makes up the feather. It's called keratin. Uh, there are tiny little air bubbles. And the air bubbles are oriented in such a way such that when light rays strike them, uh, they refract the light in a certain uh, angle uh, that it appears blue to our eyes. Now, I've also got a blue mechanical pencil next to the blue, blue jay feathers. And the mechanical pencil is blue simply because uh, in the manufacturing process, they inserted what's called a pigment that uh, is blue. Um, and with the pigment, uh, it is not a feature of the material itself, it's a, a colorant that they added. Uh, so when light strikes this pencil, uh, it absorbs all of the colors except for blue. So it's not refraction, it's based on absorption. Now I can demonstrate that the blue pencil stays blue even when there is much less light present. So I'm in the shadow of the little desk that I'm using, uh, and it still appears blue. But if I take a feather that I just showed you was blue, but we put it in the shade, it does not appear blue anymore. That's because I've removed the direct light rays, and so there's no light to reflect or refract off of those air bubbles. So what we see instead is a blue jay feather that is actually more black than it is blue.